Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm here with V Rising. Now V Rising is a survival action RPG um, and it's just literally recently come out version 1.0. Now the game has been out previously before in case you're thinking to yourselves, hold on a minute, I, I, I kind of recognize the game. It was basically out in early access a little while ago. It's been out for a couple of years now, I want to say. Um, and I did jump into it briefly during early access. Um, but I wanted to let the game, you know, fully come out and uh, release. And as you can just see, the moon is rising. So it's now nighttime. It's now safe to walk out. But basically, I wanted to jump back into the game now that it's fully released. And all I've got to say is this game is absolutely amazing. They have changed so much stuff and it is really, really polished. So I just wanted to talk about my first impressions of 1.0, show you some gameplay and that's about it really. So yeah, let's jump in, like, share and subscribe if you're interested in the game. Um, I will pin a uh, link in the comment section down below. So click that link and check out the game on Steam and yeah, let's enjoy. So yeah, basically you can see here, we're in my, uh, we're in my castle here. Um, got the beds here and the, the building is is amazing in this game that you can see this is all built this is all built by myself and, um, and my clan member Simi so you can see here this is looking absolutely fantastic really really good graphically um, and you can do a lot with this a lot of decorations and stuff like that so yeah, you have your basic sort of stuff as you do in a survival game you have um, you know stuff to to make if I go to the grinder here if you put basically stone into here you can see what you can do you put stone into there and then it brings out stone bricks with the stone bricks you can build the walls you can make the floors stuff like that and um, let me just show you the character customization here so this is the inventory you have obviously helmets and then different uh, gear so you can see here and then these are the weapons that I currently have. Now you don't level up as such in this game. It's all based on gear level. So you see here, we've got a level nine weapon. So if I was to um, upgrade to the next weapon, then my gear level would go up. Or if I was to upgrade to the next uh, level of armor, so you can see my gloves here are level four. So once I get my boots and pants and uh, chest piece and ring, for example, once I get that level up then your gear level goes up so essentially you do have a character level but it is based purely on your gear now um you can see here this is like the base stuff that you start off with and then as you can see you have to unlock you have to do quests and then um unlock new items and new gear so if you come to the workbench you can see here level six and then we scroll down to the copper it makes our gear level nine and then if we go down to the merciless copper you can see it's now going to be level 12. so again you have to do stuff in game and unlock and then you have to also find um they're called like papers you find papers across and then you come to the research desk and you can see here you then get to unlock and discover new structures new armor new weapons new magical rings and new consumables so discover a random technology, you need 50 pieces of paper to unlock the next, you know, the next thing on the list. And it's, it's random, basically. And you just you go around the map to find these items. So you can see this map is absolutely huge. We are all the way down here. We have two locations here that we're building on. And then obviously you can see here, these are hostile territories. So we're just this is just a PVE server. You, how it works in V Rising is you have either a PVP, you have different rule sets as well. You can have like really hardcore PVP where you can lose all of your loot upon death, um, or you can have like less hardcore where you lose the items in your inventory but you retain your gear. And then, of course, you can have just the PVE servers. And then also, you can also have your own dedicated servers. So, this is online with other players, but you can just basically have your own personal uh, server. And yeah, you have plenty of things here. If I show you, you have this V blood. And what you do by this is you have to go out, track the blood of these more powerful mobs. And they are, as you can see, they're level based. So you've got level 16 and then you have uh, uh, several of these level 20s. 
And each time you kill one of these, you unlock new stuff, new spells and new items to craft. So you can see so far, the next one that we're going to go out and kill is this guy called Grayson the Armorer. And it will unlock a new spell in the illusion tree, new types of floor, and then new stuff to, to create and new, uh, you know, new materials that we can then, uh, you know, craft ourselves. And if I show you the spell book, you have blood magic, chaos magic, unholy magic, illusion, frost magic, and then storm. So like I said, you have to go through the game, killing the bosses, and then you unlock different spells of each different school of magic. And then you can then obviously create your own build, see what you like, see what you enjoy. And then we have vampire powers, where this one here is you can dominate humans, which means you can go out and get yourself some servants. And then they can basically, you know, roam around your castle. They can go out and defend your castle for you as well. If you're on a PvP server, for example, you then have blood men, uh, blood men, sorry, which is a self healing. And then you have expose vein. This basically lets, as you can see here, it lets other vampires share your blood. If they're really, really low on blood, then you, uh, you can share it with them. And then we have the wolf form. So I'll show you here. You can basically turn into a wolf and then you have you know faster traversal across the across the open world um you do have mounts as well you can go out and tame horses and you can bring them back but beware they can be killed and other people can actually steal them as well so that's pretty fun but yeah um overall i'm really enjoying the game like i said it's very very fun um traditional you know survival game if i show you here i can come you can go out can farm, farm trees, farm copper, you know, kill enemies, kill mobs. It is action combat, like I said. And um, yeah, it's just overall really, really fun game. Really, really cool idea. There's also proximity chat as well. So that is always funny. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have in the in the background playing across as I speak now, I'm gonna show you a little bit of um, the combat. So this is a, a, a battle between we went out to basically kill one one of those bosses and then it turned into apparently a few of the other bosses wanted to jump in and get involved with the with the fight so that um, was quite funny it turned out to be a little bit more eventful than we initially planned but um hey that's all good it was all fun it was um very very interesting and yeah so that's um the basis really of the game get your gear obviously build a base expand upon your base expand upon your gear go out hunt you know new stronger enemies higher level bosses unlock new spells new skills new weapons and um, obviously if you're on a pvp server then you go out and hunt other real life players you can also raid people's bases as well um, depending on what server you're on you can either be on a server where you can raid the base every single day but between a certain hour to like a certain time slot or you can be less hardcore where you can raid people's bases only on the weekend um so just bear in mind that you can only do you know just bear in mind really read what server you're on read the rule sets as well just to make sure you don't log on and be surprised that your base has been absolutely destroyed now there is one thing i do want to mention two things before i go and um, this is the castle heart um, and basically you can see here it says the castle is powered and fortified for one day and 21 more hours now the reason for that is you get these items called blood essence and how you get blood essence is you have to actually go out into the open world and kill something that is living and then they drop blood essence and then you need to put the blood essence into the heart because if you don't have any blood essence in your in your castle heart so say just say i didn't play for three days now or two days even when i would come back into the game part of the castle would start to of either decayed or or broken down and disappeared so you need to make sure if you know you're not going to be able to log on for you know a day or two just make sure you have enough uh, blood essence in here so that you don't come back to nothing all your hard work will be gone um, and that would be a real shame and also the there is wipes there is server wipes on uh, in, in v rising as well so bear that in mind 
after I'm not sure how long I think it's a couple months and then every three months for example and then the servers will will obviously you know be a fresh start again and then one last thing before I wanted to leave you guys and girls was you get this blood pool and you get different blood types so you can see here I currently have blood quality 39% um, and it's a tier 2 so you get I get increased movement speed and I get increased sun resistance um, which is a nice thing to touch upon actually because when it is daytime because we are vampires the sun does kill you so you need to make sure you're moving in and out of shade in and out of cover or you have some you know sun resistance rating on you but what you should really be doing is try to do your farming and stuff during the night go and hunt and kill stuff during the night like a proper vampire then during the day come back to your base chill and craft some stuff and you know do some stuff around your around your base so that you don't have to be dodging mobs and also dodging the sun at the same time but yeah that is pretty much it uh, ladies and gentlemen all i just wanted to say was it's a really really fun game i'm i've, I've been getting addicted to it just to be fair um so i'm going to be doing a lot more gaming in a v rising and yeah if you're interested like i said click the comment down below there's a link there to the steam page check it out it's really really a good game if you're interested in a survival action combat style games you're gonna have a, a good time here so yeah hope to see you guys and girls in the next video take care peace